I gotta represent Sevilla, bro. Is that like a typical look? Is well, that like I mean, a Sevilla look? I mean, to start off, the fact that you look at me and you think I have a typical look is a bit of an insult. No, no typical look. It's original as fuck. The hat, yes, it is a typical garment <laughs> in the area of Sevilla. And I wanted to rock it today. That's why I have the ear pod. No, How is the not. audio there? It's all good, man. Audio is marvelous. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, man. You know, I uh, you, you hang out with your girl around Sevilla, like, pre-pandemic, right? Well, You did, no. obviously. No? You're not a... Didn't hang out with, like, other friends or other groups of people? Oh, but not in, you know, not in Sevilla. Oh, I'm sorry. In in Spain, in Spain. Sorry, yeah. we're talking about Sevilla. Yeah, yeah, like going okay. out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I was having this conversation here with my sister and my uh, my significant other Natasha, and um, we were talking about, you know, is it possible for uh, men and women to be friends? And you know, I, I mean, there was a couple of conflict, like there was different thoughts on both sides. So I, I almost wanted to get your side, like how, how are things maybe culturally over there? And um, so I don't know what uh, do you feel like men and women can be friends. And I'll ask you a couple of situations later on to see how. How you would feel or other people would feel. You looking at me. You looking at me. <laughs> you looking at me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking at this hat and I feel like 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 a Robert De Niro like um you know, role. Oh, okay. You looking at me? You know, it is interesting that you brought that topic up because I hadn't thought about that in a while. And I am a 31-year-old um youngin and I, I do think differently about that topic now than maybe seven or eight years ago. Mm-hmm. I used to think, I mean, I don't know if this is constant with guys that age, but I used to think like, I mean, I could have acquaintances that were girls, mm-hmm. but a friend that I would chill with, I don't know, it, to me, it would be weird if there wasn't some intention of uh, having some affection happening. Mm-hmm. So that's how I, how I used to view it. Nowadays, I don't know if this changes with age or I have just changed my mind with this. Uh, also, I've been in a relationship for a long time myself, and I just find it to be stupid to not have friends just because they're girls. I mean, I have a, not a lot. I, I, in general, I don't have a lot of friends, but... Between the friends that I have, there's girls there, and I'm happy I'm friends with them, and there's no no affectionate incentive or desire. So, in in a, I guess, in a resumed way, that's how I would feel about it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I remember back in the day, we used to hang out in, you know, groups of uh, our little clique or whatever. Uh, that was the same group of people that went to the concerts together. That was the same group of people that um, would go, I don't know, to, you know, go grab something to eat, go watch a movie, whatever, right? And when the group introduced a girl, and she was super cool. You know, she she is like, I mean, she didn't seem like, she was down to earth. She was, you know, hanging out with us. It was really, really not, um, how do you say? It wasn't really like a, th- uh, a kind of like a threat or any sort of like, um, change in the, in the balance of, of <laughs> the fuck <laughs> of the universe. This guy is like a, she wasn't a threat. Like, <laughs> What well, type of I fucking mean, group do you have, man? What type of activities well, I, are you doing with the homies, dog? <laughs> Look at this guy, well, man. You know, like sometimes like when the girls are trying to like, you we know, felt she was not a threat. <laughs> withhold the, um, to do the, 
like try to take over, make things like hella girly. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't changing the, the, the dynamic of the group is what I'm trying to say. Right. She, she fit in and complimented the group as, as is. Exactly. And for me, I was like, all right, that's cool. No problem. But over time, you know, I, I you could already tell with some, with some of the other people in the group that like, you know, people were trying to like make something happen with this girl, you know, and and I just felt like there was times where we would almost not we'd be like, okay, we're gonna hang out without her, we're gonna hang out with her or whatever, because it was just it just seemed like it could not be fluid. And trust me when I say it wasn't there wasn't like she wasn't like ditzy or or like totally like there because of another person that had brought her in or whatever. No, like somebody who were, was, I think the deal was that somebody was friends with her back in school and mm-hmm. it was like totally cool. Uh, you know, but there's always, there was always like this tension, you know? And, and, you know, when I think about can men and women be friends that, I guess that's the only real time that I, I felt like that was the so like why you, situation. You, you felt like it was a bit uncomfortable because at times, it was it was evident that people were hitting on her. Yeah, yeah, it just felt. And like did was... she want it? Well, I mean, not for some, for one particular person who ended up dating her. Yes, yes. I would assume, but um, for yeah. others, you know, no. Now, to be honest, though, in mm-hmm. a situation like that, yeah, you could you could assume as well that she. Let I'm not saying that maybe she didn't go into it with the true uh, intentions of being friends, right? But as a human being, and I don't find anything wrong with it, she mm-hmm. ended up feeling a certain way about someone there, and so I think that if it's like a girl going into a group of guys, uh, that thing those things might happen, and I think that now that we sort of have our our more serious partners, so to speak. Yeah. It makes it so that you could be friends with maybe other people. Maybe, you know, you're friends with some girl, but you're also like hang out with her boyfriend and or or partner. And it's a different type of thing, you know, and, and you're also more professional in the sense that, you know, you need to have relationships with people to do certain things. And, and part of it comes from like, you know, so... Yeah, I, I I think that as you grow up, it's stupid to have that. But when you're in the context of chilling with the boys and a girl comes through, as long mm-hmm. as it's all within the boundaries of respect, that is that is a common dynamic that happens, especially when they're younger, you know? And that's totally fine. You know, like I had situations where I had, when I was younger, I had friends come through like that too. Yeah. And maybe I liked her, but then she ended up like liking one of my friends and then they had a thing. But I always right. stayed friends with her because there was an actual friendship there, you know? And obviously, I respected the fact that she was not into me, for example. But, and that's cool. Like, I think that's part of it. That's part of growing. And when, when you're young, like, it's all about those those um, uh, endorphins firing and <laughs> that blood yeah. flowing, you know? I mean, but as you grow older, I think that you realize that it would be stupid to think that if you're chilling with a girl, it's just for that. However, I've had situations where girls have been mistaken and where they've made me feel like shit when they're the ones that, that were mistaken, right? So let me switch the conversation a bit and see if you have any examples like this. Okay. I remember I used to work, and then some chick, I, I took her out. Like, dude, it was like a chick that used to, like, flirt with me at work, right? Okay. And... And she was pretty cute, right? And she used to flirt. And, you know, like, I've always been very, like, I need to sort of be sure, right? So, like, but then she will always keep doing these little comments and shit. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it, you know? I'm going to risk it. So I went to her. I'm like, hey, what's up? Would you like to go out, like, for a drink or eat something, you know, one day, you and me? And she's like, yeah, sure. And, like, I got her number and shit. And then one day I, I... I told you know, I asked her to go out and I took her to like this little nice terrace and place and it was super, you know, nice. And 
from the beginning, I it felt uncomfortable, like as if it was weird. Right? Like I told her, oh, I'm going to get a beer and some things to like, you know, like picar, you know, like. Yeah. And I okay. was like, you want something to drink? And then she's like, she kind of straight up like didn't want no liquor or shit like that. And then I was trying to like pay and she's like, no, I'll pay, which is cool. In Europe, it's a, a bit different in that sense. But dude, literally like not even an hour into it. She's like, oh, fuck. I forgot that I that I was going to watch a movie with my sister and she's waiting for me in the movie theater. Right. Like like yeah, some okay. shit like <laughs> what the fuck? And and I'm just like. Okay, she felt the, oh, fuck, he's looking at, at this like he wants some, you know, like he's in, like he's into me in a affectionate way. Right. And then she tried to get out of it. But I'm like, what? Like, in that sense, I wouldn't justify someone saying like, well, but the fact that you went out with her, like that doesn't mean that she wants to be more than friends. And it's like, wait, if we go out in a group, Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's one thing. But if I'm asking you to go out, you and me, and have a drink and shit, that doesn't mean we need to do, you know, physical things or anything like that. But right. if if you are not into me that way at all, then you need to sort of say like, oh, no, I, I, you know, I don't think so. Or, oh, actually, yeah, I'll give you, uh, yeah, sure, one day we can. I'm not sure when because I do a lot of things and I'm busy. And I'll be like, mm-hmm. okay, I get it. And like internally, you don't have to. You know, I, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna require that you do the the bitch move of telling me like, hey, sorry, I'm not interested in doing anything with you. You can just right, tell right, me an awkward. excuse and I'll catch it. But if right. you tell me, yeah, sure, let's go. I take you to the stairs, all this shit, and then you know what would have been if 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 someone is like that that has no fucking common sense like that bitch. <laughs> The 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 honorable honorable way to get out of that is like, hey, look, I really think you're a cool guy, Kiko, and when you ask me like to go and chill, like I really, like yeah, sure, but now I see now, and maybe it was my mistake or uh, or I was I misinterpreted, but I don't have like any feelings towards you that way, and I and it feels like you do, and maybe I'm wrong, and this is embarrassing for me, but it's just like. I don't want to like have this thing if you think like this is a date type thing. Yeah, and and we work together or whatever. I mean, it's people are really, you know, they tiptoe around um, having certain conversations. People don't like to have conversations like that. Like they they find it to be really it's uncomfortable. Awkward. Yeah, uncomfortable. And I understand. Don't get me wrong. I mean, everybody. I'm not expecting. I mean, but is that is that as some un- same way? The, is that that's uncomfortable? But you. Steven, would you feel more comfortable doing that or telling me, hey, I just forgot that I'm going to see a movie? No. So, yeah, that that part right there felt like, okay, like, I mean, that's definitely you getting the hint. But, like, you could have done that from the beginning. No, no, no. But that's like you no, no, to- but that's disrespectful. Like, I plan my whole day to see you. And then mm-hmm. you're telling me uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes into it, it's like, oh, I forgot that I had other plans. Oh, it was like that? Like you didn't even finish the date and then they're like, no. oh, you want to go to the next spot? Oh, no, I have a movie. What do you mean next? Dude, somebody. it was like we had two drinks. It was 45 minutes and then she's like, oh, yeah, I'm out. I was just like. I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> that sounds that sounds weird. I mean, culturally, I don't know what it's like over there. Over here, I feel like that would be really fucked up. All right. Well, and but- maybe because you grew up over here, you see that to be fucked up. I don't know. how. I mean. No, did, I think that's fucked up ever- universally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Hey, no, I mean, don't. I, Why, I, dude? Are you people, her friend or are you my friend? So, bro, I'm your friend. Bro. Are you a narc? Right, right. Are you a narc? I'm not a narc. No, bro. I'm, I'm not are a you a narc? Cool, I'm cool, man. <laughs> um, no, but right, so let me, ha, let me get this off had... my chest. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know you're. I know you're upset. I know you're upset. It's okay. You have your girl. You have your own. Your own thing going on now. It's okay, man. Just drink your beer. Relax. Let me just try to shine some light on this situation here, okay? No, I don't think that in that moment when you're working with this girl and she says yes to your your invitation to go out, you as a as anybody, a man or female, have a responsibility to to assess that situation and make a decision. It's nothing wrong with saying, "Hey, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna." 
call. I'm gonna, my mom wanted me to do something. Give, let me check if that's all right. So you could process. You don't have to answer something in the moment. People need to learn how to how to give themselves time to answer a question. It's totally fine. You don't need to like be the person who always has an answer right then and there, right? There is some sort of like, I guess, cold, like this thing where you feel like when somebody asks you a question, you have that responsibility to them. What's more fucked up, which I do agree, like if I was in that situation, I'd be like, all right, like you just like I'm I'm inviting you out here and all of a sudden you have to go to the movies with your sister. Like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's awkward for me to say, do you want to reschedule that with your sister? Do do we reschedule? You know what I'm saying? You uh, females just need to. And, and <laughs> do I, do I get my big side. lick before you leave? <laughs> No, I'm just saying, do you want to... <laughs> I'm saying I have, I have questions at this time that I'm not yeah. sure what the answer is. Okay, before you go, just to summarize, I'm not <laughs> kidding. <Just> to... <laughs> Could you imagine? No. Um... I mean, this, this, this seems pretty straightforward, but I just want to clarify. And hey, maybe if you could sign here that this is what you mean. I'm not putting my dick inside <laughs> today, right? This ain't happening. Oh, uh, fuck. Um, okay, sorry, go on. But no, 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 it's fine. I'm just, I want to gather my thoughts. I think, you know, in that situation, she definitely was fucked up. But, um, you know, it, she's probably a subscriber to the, she's probably a subscriber to um men and women can be friends right this is this is definitely what she thinks because she, i mean she's a subscriber you... to the to the wasting fucking people's time club yeah. oh yeah <laughs> but there's tons of that there's so much of that especially here in miami everybody's always trying to waste people's time however however i will ride. give her this i will give her this <clears throat> even if she wasn't clear on what was happening when she found out that it was happening she made sure, like, oh no, I'm paying for my stuff to make clear what's good, right? Even though in Spain right, right. and in Europe, that's a norm in general. Oh, okay. It could be worse. You could be in Miami, and you could have this bitch take you to fucking South Beach, and you spend five hundred bucks on a meal on drinks, and then she's like, "All right, buddy, you're the best friend." So yeah, um, bye. I'm about to get nailed by fucking Francisco, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah. By who? Who's that? No, that's Cisco on acid. He's gonna fucking plow me. Cisco knows. <laughs> He's probably gonna hear this like, "Yo, what the fuck?" <laughs> we know Cisco. Yeah. We know what you've been up to, dog. <laughs> I really don't, but uh, that sounds like him. No, not really. He's a cool guy, but I mean, he could do it. I'm not saying he's a bitch. He wouldn't do it, but I'm just saying I don't have heard anything okay. about that happening. <laughs> All right, Cisco. We will br- we, if anybody's we will trying to hire to him, he's a good guy. He really doesn't chill with us. He's not part of. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this this loony. His address is. is... <laughs> All right. So um. So so, dude. I mean, yeah. I feel bad that, that was the situation. I think we all have those um. Those. Tell tell me one of your of situations. situations. Tell me a situation, situation that you had where you felt there was a discrepancy between the two parties regarding what <laughs> what they thought was happening. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um. <laughs> I <laughs> I remember actually I think I was with you or I knew I was in a college town. Oh. And I'm fuck. sitting there, I'm sitting there, but this is not like a friend. Like I don't actually know this person. This is just but a, situ- a similar situation like that was when when we were in uh Gainesville, I think, or or it was some kind of club. We walked into the club and we were having a good time, we're chilling, having, you know, no harm, no foul. And then there's this girl who just like basically throws herself onto me and I'm just like Oh shit! It's like that up here. Like I don't know. I, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Fuck! I, I gotta get out of my community college in Miami and get up uh, uh, over yeah, here, no. dog. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay. but this was for real. Yeah, having... Damn, I didn't see. So somebody just throws themselves at you. Just at the throws club. herself on me, right? And I'm just like, all right, cool. Um, so we're we're dancing, we're doing this, and like she's like trying to whisper something in my ear, but it's loud. It's super loud in there. It's like I'm like, what? She's like, can you get me a drink? I'm like, uh, okay. In that moment, I was like, yeah, yeah, give me one second. In that moment, I'm just like, I go. I'm like, okay, th- I'm actually being taken for a ride here. And as I, I make my way to the bar, she stays back, which is another weird part. She's like, she's like I'm going over to the bar. She's not coming with me. I'm like, all right, psst, beeline. And I just go to like some other part in the club. And then I circle back around. There she is, you know, praying on another poor 
soul. And I'm like, oh shit. All right. So that's like that. But anyways, whatever, man. Like that that situation that you're in, it happens all the time like that. So But you don't have I mean, any don't, situations don't. further than that? That wasn't a situation. <laughs> I I know of a situation that I yeah, that you just reminded me of. Uh are you comfortable with me telling you uh, t- uh, sharing this situation? Uh it's yeah, I mean past. I was I, everything's every, it's in the past. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Go for it. What what do you <laughs> This remember? is a really I, good situation. <laughs> So, you remember something more than I do. Dang, oh, I don't know. No, no, you're going <laughs> to remember this shit. It's just you don't remember now. So back in the day, right, when me and, uh, and, and Steven sort of graduated high school, we had a lot of friends that went to different colleges and universities in Florida. I mean, and even different places. But we decided to go in and meet up with certain people at different colleges in Florida, like UFC in Orlando. We went to Gainesville, uh, UF in Gainesville. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, I remember. That was and, such a good trip. So that, that trip in itself. Is on crazy. one of those trips, we were in Orlando, and we went to like this house party, and me mm-hmm. and St- and me and Stephen had brought from Miami. Probably, I'm not gonna lie, the firest, and I and I'm not lying. And I've had and I've had fucking fire, bro. Even now here in 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 Spain, this was the firest bud. I had ever fucking had the firest straight up bubble gum. I don't know if you remember this. We had, I think it was in my car and dude, we had just the firest fucking butt. And we went to this house party and at the house party, you know, we're there chilling. Uh, we were with a friend Andres and, and, and mm. other friends. And, you know, I won't say many names so people don't get confused, but there was this chick that we didn't know. And she sort of came to us and she was like being cool with me and Steve, right? And she's like, yeah, what's up? And like in our group, not everybody smoked. Me and Steve were more like the smokers. And then we started to talk about Bud. And I think I probably said something like I got the fires Bud in the world. And she's like, oh, my God, I smoke. No, but I, mean, I think she was pretty cool. But she was like, oh, really? I want to smoke and shit. So we go. Oh, my God. Yeah. We go to my car to smoke. <laughs> like we get out of the apartment and we go to the parking lot and we go to my car to smoke, right? And me and Steven, right? Me and Steven, delusional young kids. We were like, damn, Delusion. dog. I hope the Lord forgives for, for what I'm about to do tonight. <laughs> you know? Like, we're, we're, a lot of thoughts through my head. I was like, damn, am I going to have to freaking, uh, what's that, like uh, Eiffel Tower and shit? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, God damn. Yeah, dude. This I was having a moment. Oh my God. I was having like crazy thoughts, you know? Like, I, I personally. So I personally, I like to have privacy and do things on my own. But at that time, I'm like, hey, man, I, right now I'm not deciding. You know, this is being decided for me. <laughs> so we go we go to the car and we start smoking the fire is bud. And I remember that I serve uh, like I put up a point seven and I'm not going to get too explicit. But if anybody knows what's good, if you go get a dime, at least in Florida back in the day and they give you a point seven. That shit was hooked up. The correct dime is 0. 0.6. A fucked up motherfucker, skimpy ass dude, will give you a 0. 0.5. But if you got the hookup, it was a 0. 0.7. So I, I fucking served a 0. 0.7 of the fires, but I ever fucking touched in my life. And we shared it with this girl. And we were like, this is just going to, you know, this is the type of shit that you do in college. This is the life. We're living this shit. It was all worth it. God damn it. <laughs> and yeah, right man. as we're fucking finishing the the blunt, she's like, "Oh my god, yeah, this is so super fire! I swear, like, oh my god, you guys, when you guys meet my boyfriend, <laughs> you guys are gonna love him. He's so cool. I swear, like, he's just like you guys, you know, like he's like he like he'll spark up people that he doesn't even know, right? Like he's he's super <laughs> cool. Like I swear to God. Uh, but yeah, he'll be coming like later, maybe. So like, if you guys have more bud, maybe we can all smoke again, you know, like." But yeah, no, cool as fuck. You guys want to go back to the apartment? I see that um, you guys. I don't even wanna... think we got that. Did we get that invitation? No. And they're like, oh, no, no. God, I, I, I'm, I'm going a bit further with this. Like the <laughs> only thing I really remember is her just not being interested in us at all. And and then we we fucking had a thing going like a meme before memes were invented. Where we were just like, damn dog, we got played for the point seven. The hooked up. The hooked up, uh, blunt, dude. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's the, that was, uh, the classic story of we got play for the point seven. And sometimes uh, I will tell the youngins out there that are in the prowl that uh, 
you know, it is a hit and miss game. And to be able to catch, you will have to be played for the point seven, uh, a one point or many points. Yeah, and that's okay. <laughs> that, that, that's okay. That's Just, part of the game. That's part of the game. It's okay. You know, there are worse things in life. Yeah, I do remember that now. And uh, and she did come off as like totally cool, totally you know whatever. But yeah, man, we were in different territory. We was that was that was yeah. I didn't know what was going on. That was like I said, the same trip that that happened in in Gainesville. So for the listeners out there, don't go up to Gainesville thinking highly of yourself. It's all freaking ridiculous there. So in what you're sense? probably an awesome person, and you're and you deserve love. But in Gainesville. There are no rules. <laughs> There's just fucking. Yeah, it is a bit of, of a drunk over. town where everybody just fucking, you know, partying and then nobody knows what's happening. And you do have the people that have, you know, the the engineering degrees and things. You know, it is one of the best. Yeah, no, super smart engineering schools. But also, but the ones that aren't doing engineering, fun- uh, or even them too, they're just getting really fucked up in a small town. Yeah. So it is. It is functioning alcoholics. Crazy. But I mean, if you want, st- start explaining a bit how. You found that trip to be while well, I take a quick piece of Rooney and I'll be yeah. and I'll be right back. Sure, sure, man. So, I mean, uh, my thing is with a um, when you're in a, a relationship, uh, when you're not in a relationship, when you're in a friendship and you have friendships, um, there are there's always going to be one person who's just more more interested um, in the in in into knowing who you are whatever and um getting to know you wanting to be with you you know all that type of stuff and that sometimes doesn't come off because you know obviously you have those that like you're withholding like everything you're trying to be cool you're trying to play you know that whole like nonchalantness about it and um and so i just feel like if you were to think that you can have a friend that's of the opposite sex or whatever i guess gender that you're into doesn't because i guess now it just it, it could go across the board um but if you have friends that are of the sex that you're into yeah it's going to be kind of tough because um now i i can't speak for you know the everyone but i'm just saying generally men and women it's it's difficult. It's difficult to have that friendship because you have, you just have all this tension. You know, there's this, they'll, they'll make you laugh. People are, are attracted to people who can make people laugh or people feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Like uh, everybody's always looking for love. So it's like it's, you're mixing that into the, into the equation. And it just feels like, I don't know, it feels like is that something that could even be a thing? And the, the, the curiosity gets sparked and everything like that. So um i feel like i don't know it's it's kind of a slippery slope for me um so i mean and i know kiko just uh did a quick pit stop but you know i was just saying that it's it's a slippery slope when somebody in the relationship uh desires more from the friendship and it's always that one person you know what i mean that's why you really can't have that friendship happen like that. That's why you think so, you can't have it. That's why I don't think. I don't think so. No. Oh, okay. I so mean, you're actually okay. So you're you you believe the contrary of me in this one. That well, I believe that men and women can't truly be friends. Cannot truly like, be tru- friends. Cannot truly just be friends, because uh, there's always going to be one person who makes that person feel good, and then the question pops up. Hey, is, can this be a thing? So you don't have you know? friends that are girls. No, and I was actually having this conversation with Nat because Nat had a friend that was a guy when I started meeting when I met her, and his name is Brian. And to this day, super cool guy. Actually, I talk to him now more than she does. Um, but he's in jail. When <laughs> no, <laughs> he's uh, so he 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 worked with her. They 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 got on a health kick together. They lost a ton of weight. They. They, you know, whatever. Um, they started the job at the same time. So it was like this this path. Camaraderie. And when I started, yeah, when I started dating her, I'm like, okay, like that, that's the red flag I got to watch out for, you know, and initially. That's mm-hmm. somebody coming into it, you know, and uh, and just they they used to call each other uh, like, like 
there's like the the pet names like oh hey hey pumpkin what's up you know this and that whatever and i'm just like i'm like Skirt. like what the fuck is that about you know so i had to like kind of say hey look like how would you feel like i didn't even say anything like how would you feel if i said oh you know what's up sweet cheeks you know to some some one of my friends or if, if i had a, something funny happen to me oh my god i can't wait to tell ashley you know oh ashley check out this funny thing oh <laughs> you know and here's your girlfriend or your, you know and there you're like you can't really right have that especially being in a relationship you know what i mean especially being in a relationship so did that dynamic change that dynamic change yeah i mean she she's like oh, okay yeah and no, i feel that like you know i'll just i'm not gonna stop being friends with him which i didn't expect her to but i just felt like the you you step further away from that line that gr- that line where like yeah. you know what i mean you're friends but you're yeah you're, yeah you're just it's, cra- friend, it's, you know it's crazy I mean? you know i think the way that I look at it is, for example, I, like I, my girl, I were me and my girl. We started going out, not as young. So she has good friends, just like I have good friends mm-hmm. of, of the opposite sex. And I think it comes down to a level of trust and respect. You know, like she should assume that some friends that I'm friends with that are girls might have within them sexual desires i mean because when you look at me it is impossible to not feel you know (laughs) the endorphins fire and i can understand that um but obviously she would need to trust that i won't act upon that right and then on her side even more like i know that she has friends that maybe i i would consider good friends or like good people like respectful and shit but i will always have to assume like that you're an animal, you know. So with that assumption, I can right. know how what to look out for. And I can also decide, you know, what type of person I'm with. Like I I, I recommend for people to be with somebody that you feel that trust and that incentive to be together and that mm-hmm. you don't really have to be on that on that lookout. Now yeah, there's definitely there there are friendships that you're like, hey wait, this this is definitely red flag. Like this I don't like. And and you mentioned like some of those examples, like, hey, Munch Pumpkin, what's good? And it's like, hey, look, like, you know, cool, but, you know, there's just like, you know, some rules, you know, I mean, just so that I'm not a fucking, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. and I think that's, that's totally fine. But, <clears throat> but, okay, so you think that you cannot really be friends with, with a, the opposite sex, but then here you have your girl, she has a friend like that. So how do you look at that? Do you think that's just an exception? And or how do you analyze that? Well, I, I mean, uh, the if I were to call their friendship the same as it was when they f- when I first came into the picture, it's not. But it it worked out because at the same time that me and her started dating, he started dating this girl, and so they themselves became busy, like too busy for each other. So it's really not like in any way. But like it's funny when I went to Colorado on my bachelor trip, he was in the airport going on a trip to Colorado with his friends and his girlfriend. And so like it was uh, that that's separate of the of the fact but it was like before I saw him she hadn't talked to him in months. So it's not really like the same friendship at all. Right but then and do you I think do that you it's do, okay. but do you feel that it's okay that you come in and I'm just asking sort of to sort of analyze this topic further not sure, to sure. not to yeah. like push on you but uh do you think that that's okay for you to sort of come in and 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 demand that there's not much of a connection or do you think just organically he had another partner and shit just worked out that way right no no it was it was actually in my favor i didn't need to push very hard at all all i said the only thing i ever said was like hey like you know the pet names like between your friends like call your girlfriends whatever you know but your your guy friends like i don't know if they're gonna think that you know, oh, she's like into me because she's calling me this. And then he gets a girlfriend. It's like, oh, okay, perfect. Like, I ain't got to, I don't even got to worry about this anymore. You know what I mean? And I could just be cool with him because he's actually like, him and I have similarities. Like, yeah, we both like to do a bunch of activities and stuff. So, yeah, I think between <laughs> decent people, it's, it's important to give those cues to people and, and, and give that respect. Um, yeah. You know, in, in, in that sense. I mean, at the end of the day, you you relate to people that have those same values and morals and and 
and, and you know, but obviously you always want to have that meter available because, you know, it's yeah, a combat. You can't be oblivious to it. Yeah, exactly. You can't be oblivious. But in yeah, general, you what, feel that what, girls. That's what in general, girls, guys, you don't think they could really be friends because there's always going to be one overwhelming force trying to, like, peep game. Relationships out of it, like what happened to me and Natasha, relationships out of it, if you have a, a guy and a girl friend, um, I mean, it's... it's. Oh, you mean, like, if they're both single, you, yeah. you cannot be friends, really, because one of, one of you is going to try to fuck the other. Exactly. Yeah, at some point. You know what I mean? Because if you're friends, you're having a good time. You're, that person is making that whatever other person make feel good, feel fun, feel, you know, and like, oh, my God, like, I have such a great time with you. Why aren't we like more than this? Oh, you know, oh, man, damn, like, oh, shit, like they're they're wearing something a little bit mm. that's more flattering to them. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Because you have those thoughts about random people. Why wouldn't you have them about? I like it that it kind of changes what you like. The way that you explain it, it makes sense. Like. So at the beginning, I thought you just meant it cannot happen across all situations, but you do make an exception when it comes to like, you know, if, if there's people that have their own couples and then some of them are friends, it's just, it's a different dynamic because there's not that drive to like try to get a, a, a hook. If you're, if you're a decent person, you, that barrier, like, you know, if I'm at my friend's house and, and his girl just happens to be one of those girls that like to wear tight dresses right, or whatever. Um, you look at it and un inevitably you're like, oh shit, like that's a nice dress. But then you're like, no, nah, like, you know, like you as a decent person, like, all right, cool. Like next, right? Like there's like fo focus, focus on what's right. Cause sometimes you can't help it. Like sometimes you, you walk into it like, oh man, that a, a girl would probably say, oh man, like, man, the, uh, I don't know, freaking, Nicole's boyfriend's like so handsome, so tall, dark, you know, because girls talk a lot of shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Actually, the you know, these uh, whatever. That's that's irrelevant. Yeah, but I think I think that between decent people, there's a difference. And I and I know the line is is uh, is blurry, but it is the people that know how to go about this line that really excel mm -hmm. in life and, and are able to become friends with people that actually um are worth it, you know, and I consider myself and yourself to be part of that. But it's like knowing where it's like, yeah, I mean, we're all humans. If you go into a reunion, there's people that you're going to notice who's who's looking good, who's handsome, all that. That's inevitable. And then it comes mm -hmm. to a point where like, all right, as a man, you need to be respectful, not only to the women, but to the men uh, that are, the, are with those women. And not only is that a, a moral thing, and sort of like um, a man thing to do, but that's also things that girls look at like, okay, that's the type of person, like that's the type of respectful man that I want to be with, you know, and that's the type of shit that I saw from my dad and, you know, just somebody that that you could tell is a pure person that isn't disrespectful and, and, that's, and, that, and, and that will get you places. That, that alone will get you in, in rooms that you wouldn't be there otherwise. Right, right. It's important that you just always keep a good head on your shoulders and, and love your yourself and love the life you choose for yourself. Because if you're not, if you, that that becomes a slippery slope, right? When you're not, uh, uh, you know, you think that you're a good person, but then you don't have all of your boxes checked. And then you have, you know, you have situations where you go to somebody's house and your mind starts to wander and then you're wondering down the line. Maybe you never even think about it, but if you have half a conscience, you start to think, well, why am I thinking these thoughts about this person? You know, am I not really happy in my relationship? You know, that's really the that's really the question you should be asking. Yeah. But in a sense of like, are we friends? Are we uh, what are we? You know, um, if you're asking yourself that question then there it is right there like you you don't you can't have a a friend of 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 your of your sexual preference now it i don't i can't speak like for instance i've got tons of friends um that uh like some some friends that are girls that are into girls and they all hang out like there's there's girls that like girls that have girlfriends 
Um, and then I'm assuming it's the same on the, on the guy front. I, I mean, you know, if you're a guy uh, and I'm talking more specifically about single, like if you're a single girl that's into girls or a single guy that's into guys, can you have that friendship? I don't know. Well, that, that realm, I, I will give sure. you my insights. Okay. Because I, I have dwelled in the gay world. Figures. <laughs> 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 no, no, but I, mean, I, 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 I have a few gay friends, and, and 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 I've asked them this shit. You know, like if you're friends with Kiko, I don't give a fuck what part of, of what part of community you you are part of. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get the same treatment, you know. And I'm coming mm -hmm. for you, you know. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck for sure, you know, <laughs> because I believe in equality, and I'm gonna troll okay. every one of you the same. No, but I have like straight up good friends, you know, that, that, that are gay. And I've asked this question and I got answers. No, but straight up, <laughs> like the way that it works, at least, and, and I think this, with, with, with girls is more complicated, but with guys, it is true that you have sort of the passive and the active or the dominant, the dominant yeah. and like the. I mean, to put it in crude terms, and this is not offensive or anything. This is just what it is. Like, one likes to put it in and one likes to take it. Like, that's just the way that it works, you know. There's very few hybrids. They're rare. You know, when you have a hybrid yeah, yeah. That, that, that likes to do both, it's like Neo from Matrix. You know, like, <laughs> this guy's the one. But most people <laughs> in that in that world... And and mm -hmm. if you're in this world and I'm incorrect, put it on the comments. But this ain't this ain't you know this is coming from not experience. I swear. <laughs> that's that's what somebody would say that did have the experience, but he's trying to cover it up. No, but so so what I've heard is because because I had a question like I know of, of friends of mine that are gay and they're friends with each other, super friends, like bros. They're both they're both they're both gay. They're both gay. And they're super okay. close. Like, imagine, like, you and me back in the day. I mean, not that we okay. were gay, but that we were chilling. Right. Right? Like, they were bros. They're bros. And I'm like, I'm like, how does that work? Like, are they bros that can play, like, Xbox together? But since they both like guys, they can also fuck each other. And that's like a win-win situation. However, there's, it's more complex than that. Normally, the gay ones that are friends with each other normally don't like gays like themselves. So in this particular case, you have gays in, in the one that I had experience with where they're more feminine, more passive. Okay. And, they're, and, and, and the relationship that I was able to appreciate from them is as if they were two girls that were going out to clubs trying to get guys. Okay, so they were of the same, they were both Killed. the on the same side of the gay, of yeah. their gay. Yeah, so like. And I don't mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm being totally like, you know, ignorant in my vocabulary. I, I, I don't know this stuff very well, but I'm just saying Steven like. Steven is very yeah, they're, intolerant. They're the, they're the two girls or the two guys of the of their, of their exactly. homosexuality. So, because I thought just like, okay, if you're both gay and you're both guys, then. You could just fuck each other, right? But no, there's, it's more complex than that. I probably look like a oh, fucking okay, okay. caveman saying shit like that. But 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 That's I don't know. Right. People don't know this yeah, all the time. I don't time. mean it in a I don't no, mean no, it. No, in not, not at all. Way. I mean, I'm I think sure. I know you don't either. I mean, I thought it was fun like that. I, I, you know, that was sort of like, hey, whatever happens here, it goes. No, but there is some rules inside, like, and I would assume that there are also gay men that are more in the aggressive side, and they could be bros with another gay man, but they don't really like each other in that sense because they're trying to get. Little birdies. I don't know. I see. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't have... I have lesbian friends too, but uh, I don't remember having this conversation with them specifically. I got to do it. And I might have one of them come come here because I'm, I'm friends with... You look at me and if you're trying to judge me, I'm friends with all types of people. All types of people. So fuck you. And you're judgmental and shit. Fuck you. But I got to bring... You know, I, I would assume that lesbians also have that type of dynamics where it's like, no, no, I like the more feminine ones. So if I'm sort of more like a guy lesbian and I have friends that are lesbian, but they're more like guy, you know, like they dress mm -hmm. like, uh, for example, My Chemical Romance or, um, you know, uh, 
Yeah, whatever they're, whatever, you know. Good Charlotte, uh, you know. I've, you know, give me, give me something. Give me something. Yeah, Avril Lavigne, uh, freaking. No, Avril Lavigne, no, uh, she kind of look girly, but give me, give me some one of those, you know what I'm talking about, some emo look, yeah. like I'm a guy, right? You probably not. You yeah. probably not into another girl that looks like that. You're trying to get the, you're trying to get the little Paris Hilton looking one. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. No, I, that makes sense. However, I, was, I, I do have know. a lesbian friend that's super girly and hot, and she likes other super girly and hot girls. That seems like the better. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's not better. I'm just saying, you know, it, it's a, maybe I made a better poster for the for the community. I'm just saying, you know, if you have, you know, like. For example, Margot Robbie and Jennifer Aniston, and that's the poster. I just think you can get more votes if you're trying to push the civil fight that way. I'm just saying. Well, if it comes to marketing, I mean, speaking solely on a marketing perspective, you know, everyone is is beautiful in their own way. But I mean, sex sells, right? I mean, they do that to men all the time with. Uh, voluptuous women i mean it's not like they're saying negatively to anybody else's body type or style or anything but you know there's a uh yeah i mean everybody can agree that margot robbie and, and jennifer aniston are beautiful women and so but anyways i think well, i think we're digressing i think that regardless even in that situation even in that situation if you had um someone with that sort of of choice and sexuality trying to be friends with someone like the the more dominant gay versus the more feminine gay they probably couldn't be friends oh okay okay you see how we get to the actual deep shit and you're there judging us like yo what the fuck are these guys gonna get to <laughs> exactly even within that community that dynamic exists you have the fucking attackers and then you have the defenders and it's the same shit. If you have an attacker and a defender, they cannot be friends because eventually one is going to want to attack the other. <laughs> exactly. And that's, straight up, and that's straight up science and facts. You can click on the links below where all the sources are. It's true. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that, so I, I, this is my opinion. This is some also seems to be your opinion as well. I want to know um, if somebody else has that opinion. I mean, I would love to maybe even do a part two get some of your friends on on here i don't know you know i'm down yeah, yeah we can have a i got little, we, i, I we know people too that we can get a call. party here in this bitch i don't care we do it i don't know i'm cool with it i'm super cool I'm with super, it. actually i've had more I'm fun i'm super cool with I've had it more fun at, i'm super I've had cool with, with those i have more fun with uh with more open-minded people anyway so it's super cool. yeah steven's been wanting to explore his sexuality for a minute so we're gonna get this shit happening okay and don't worry <laughs> broski dude <laughs> I don't know that hat is that 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 hat does uh does things to me, Kiko. I don't know. What to tell you. Hey, bro. Oh no, no. Uh, I mean, you won't be able to have this, but we we can get you stuff. I mean, hotter than me. I'm telling you. I mean, we're gonna pay for for talent, <laughs> uh, okay. and we will have a uh, an LGBTQ plus three four five party, and we're gonna get their opinions, and they're gonna tell us the intricacies and details within that community. Cause we're here. You're talking this like shit, man. Actually. We're talking the empire yeah. of shit. And we don't know what's happening out there. No. Yo, why are you knocking? But, um, people are knocking on my fucking wall, dog. People want to know they're not going to get the answers. They're Bro, for the answers. <laughs> they want the answers. <laughs> no, nah, but on the reels. I want to ask Steven. Steven. Yo. Are you feeling good about what we're talking about? Are we able... Hey, can you make it a bit further? Can we talk a little more stuff? Mm. I've gotten all I've gotten as deep as I can go off my off my chest because it it for me it was such an interesting topic. It went on for so long and I was like, oh my god, like it was not our conversation, the one that I had before that mm. actually brought me to want to bring it to our viewers, right? But um I I think that the matters of love are just very gray, right? They're always just so, so gray. And there's no rule book. That really isn't, you know what I mean? We could just go off of our, our heart, our emotion, and our libido. And I feel like there are a lot more, there's more dynamic 
these days, right? I mean, growing up in the 50s, 60s, 70s, those folks, they grew up with heterosexuality, male, female, male, female. And the, and the, um, the more, uh, the gay community, LGBT community was more under wraps. So there was not enough talk about it, right? And I, I just think that, you know, now we have young kids, uh, or the younger generations growing up trying to figure it out. And they probably have better answers than we do, but I, I also want to shed some light on, you know, having experiences with, you know, having conversations with friends that we've both had. I feel like, you know, if there's a younger person who hasn't had, hasn't crossed that path, but feels like, you know, because sometimes the exploration of your sexuality might be, might be taken advantage. Uh, not advantage of purposefully maybe even just from someone else who who finds you to be attractive and then you know you, you know what i'm saying you, you how do you figure out who's the dominant one and the mo- and the less and the more feminine one in in that realm right well because you know what i'm saying so you got to figure out maybe you don't know that exists like i didn't know that exists until we had like a conversation about it you know what i'm saying like i've, I've had that conversation with other other uh, uh, people as well but I feel like if there is some light that we can shed on the fact that, okay, can I be friends with this person? Is me crossing the line going to ruin that friendship? It, you know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's really where it comes down to. Like, can I be friends with this person? Are we going to take that step? Is my relationship as a friend going to be ruined? That's another, that's another thing. I say yes. I say, you know, typically... Typically, you well, know, something, I think that something breaks there. I agree something with what you're saying. And I think to add to it, you would sort of have to analyze like, okay, my romantic relationship and this friend friendly relationship, are they in a conflict of interest? Like if this is this friend, somebody that I know wants to have something with me, in which case I will have to sort of distance myself a bit because that's not something that is fair to the other person. Or is this a genuine friend that wasn't even interested in me romantically before and something can be worked out? Sort of like what happened with your and, and the situation you spoke about earlier. And mm-hmm. and also, like you mentioned, there's no rule book. It's sort of great, but there is one rule book that you can go by and it's your instinct, right? If you're a decent person, you know what's you know what's good and what isn't. You know if you're doing something wrong and you're not or, or if you're not. So go by that. And, 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 and be responsible for your decisions, but also be smart about it because this, this is the type of things that's going to carry in your life and, and it's going to make a difference in the future. So it, I think it's very important to start making those good decisions when you're young or at least trying because you're going to fuck up. But when you're trying and you do the bad decisions, eventually before you get to 30, you're at a point where you, where you know how to make good decisions. And, and, you know, obviously it is good to have fun uh and you know what i mean by that at a certain age that that's all you know fair game but if you're in the in in the state where where you're trying to have something that is a bit more real then you do want to have these sort of conversations with yourself so that you know you're doing the best you can for that person and vice versa i think Mm -hmm. and make sure that you know that you have a movie date with your sister before you take someone out on, on a two date drink on a two drink date yeah, fuck that bitch. On a terrace. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we got that out of our chest, and and we'll see you soon. If you like the hat, let me know because I'm trying to I'm trying to keep this style. Maybe even bring it to my music uh, career and project, and and maybe this could be part of the whole you know accoutrement. I love it. Thank you again, guys, for listening. Hope you have a great week. Enjoy and peace.